Hi, I'm Nicola. I'm the senior trainer here at Justice and today I'm going to look at the three different ways that you can search on Justice One. So we're starting off at the general search bar at the top here and you can make a search here if you know the title or citation of a case that you're looking for. You can also search for an area, category of law or a keyword. All you have to do is type in the example you're looking for and you will see that Justice One brings up suggestions underneath. If you see the title of the case you're looking for, you can select it from here. Otherwise, you can press enter to make a search for any words that you have already typed. You can also search for a citation here. With citations, you don't have to worry about brackets, capital letters, anything like that, because Justice One will still recognise what you're looking for and bring up suggestions underneath. The second way to search on Justice One is to use our advanced tool on the left hand side. Clicking onto advanced will allow you to break down the search that you're making and put in the details into specific boxes. You'll notice that they are all colour coded and this will appear in that colour within the top search bar when you make your search. So it tells you exactly what we're looking for and recognising your search uh, when we bring up your results. At the moment I'm on the all tab which means I'm searching across cases, legislation and EU content but if you're only interested in one of them within your results you can select it from the top and you'll see the extra categories will appear um, such as the level of court or the judge's name for cases, legislation, the act or section name reference and EU you can even add an, your own field. In any of those boxes, you can use search operators. So as an example, if I want to find owner liability as a phrase rather than separate words, I can pop it into quotation marks, which will only look for those two words together. There's a whole number of different search operators that you can use. So at the end of the session, we will provide a link to those. The third way that you can search on Justice One is to use our browse feature on the left hand side. Selecting browse will allow you to choose between cases, statutes, SIs and EU content first. And then it will open up subcategories for you to filter down your search even further. It will automatically give you jurisdiction, but you can change that to a different category. So you can search uh, for an area or you can search by reported series, jurisdiction or the year from here. Once you've got to the level you want to search for, press show documents, which will bring up all of the relevant results. You can then filter your results so that they are refined to exactly what you're looking for using the filters available at the top here. You can reorder your results from here, download the full text of any of those cases, or even set up an alert so that you are sent an email anytime a new case um, is added under your search terms. This has been a really brief overview of the three different ways to search on Justice One, but if you'd like to go into more detail, you can arrange a complimentary training session with any of our training team. To do this, simply email training at justice.com and we'll be in touch. Thank you.